Yeah, good day everybody, and uh, welcome back. Okay, um, uh, Project uh, D. You know, decided to branch out and, and have a bit of a play and look at some new, new stuff. Um, so, a quick look at 3D. Okay, we see that we've got our um, slope there. Wasn't as steep as I wanted it to be, but I'm not too stressed about it. Okay. Um, I'm going to run in from the uh, west elevation. Let's see what happens when I look there. There we go. Okay, so what we have here uh, uh, my preset elevations. Um, here's my reference planes, so I can see where my site begins and ends. Um, so I think the first thing we really want to do with this one is probably just move all of these elevations, all these levels up because what we want to do is just construct a very simple house at the top here because um, what we're going to do is introduce some phasing okay so so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go one I'm just going to use my control hold my control key select all of these levels and uh, just using my move command and I'm going to move the ground floor to about there, about 2.75 um, it's going to sit just above the ground, I'm, I'm okay with that okay for the sake of this particular um, project okay so that's the first thing I'm going to do so now I'm going to go into my views here in my project browser I'm going to go to my ground floor plan Okay, so what I would like to do at this stage is I would like to be able to see my um, topo surface. If I go to my site plan, I can see the topo surface there. If I go to the ground floor plan, I can't see it. And the reason for that, okay, is two things. Is number one, it's not turned on. Okay, so that's the first thing. So that's what we need to fix. So in order to, to see that we need to go to our what we call our visibility and graphics overrides. So the via the ribbon we go to our view tab and we go to this button here, visibility and graphics, and you'll see the short key there is VG. But if we left click on this, okay. So on the left hand column here okay this is for model categories this is for 3d stuff okay on the left hand side tells us what the various elements are what categories are if I scroll down here we will see here that topography has been turned off and if I explode that tree there a whole bunch of things turned off so but now if I click there okay that will turn the topo surface on in the ground floor plan. If I hit apply, then go OK. Right, still can't see anything. Okay, so it is on, but we can't see anything. So, what that means to me is that our view range is now out of whack. So, view range helps in Revit, helps us to see elements in the Z plane. Okay, so here's my X across this way here's my Y okay and Z is moving up and down okay so and at the moment what the view range is probably doing is it's looking at the ground floor plan but not looking any further down so let's go have a look at this view range I'm going to edit it okay and that is exactly what's happened so if I go back to my west elevation, let's cancel out of that. West elevation. Okay. This is the fun thing. So west elevation. So what's happened? We're in the ground floor plan, and the camera stops looking at this line here. Okay. It's not looking down. Therefore, even though the topo surface is there. Um, its visibility is on, the camera stops looking there. 
So, but we can't change that until we're in a floor plan. So, back to our ground floor plan. We go to our extents area in our properties. We go to view range. So, for the sake of this one, I am just going to tell it to go unlimited when looking down. Okay. So, it just means I'm not having to think too hard about what's going on underneath. Now, if I go apply. There we go. There is our top load surface. Okay. Now we are in um, hidden lines, so everything's in black and white. And the other thing is that we've only got one contour line there, and I want to change that. We'll do that in this video. Okay. Because I want to be able to see contours maybe every 100 mil or 200 or something to that effect. So now I go to Massing Insight. Okay, and what I do is I click on this little next to where it says model site, so click on this little down arrow because we get more settings. Okay, so we have um, contours at um, major contours at intervals of 5000 millimeters. Okay, and that's this one here. Okay, now we have a secondary contour. Can I stretch this out? No. Okay, multiple values. So secondary contours. If I was to change this one here to, let's say, 200 millimeters and apply, there we go. As you can see, each of these is a minor contour or a secondary contour picked out at 200 millimeters. If I was to go change that to 100 millimeters, we're obviously going to see these go like that. Right. So, um, what do we do with this one? We've just set ourselves up our elevations. We have turned on our topo surface in the ground floor plan because by default the normal regular floor plans do not show topography and we've shown you how to show a few more contours okay actually I think we have time for one more little thing okay what we're going to do is try and um, label these contours so if I go to model site okay we go back to our little down arrow there Okay, and no, undo that. Label contours, nice and easy. Click on that. Right. At the moment, the label for the contours will be 1.5 millimeter area, so it's going to be pretty small. So this one here, we just draw a line. So we go left click here, drag it across like that. Okay, and what it does automatically is it picks up those contours for us. When I hit escape that line disappears but we've got um, this. And you can change this label by just going click on clicking on those um, labels, clicking edit type, um, you could rename this to say well, no for argument's sake 3.5 millimeter and change the size there. Okay, when I apply that you'll see those come in a lot bigger. So that helps us sort of understand when we're looking at the plan what the ground is doing underneath us, okay, without having to constantly revert back to our elevations. Right, so we're going to leave it at that for now. Next time we're going to do a um, We'll probably put a building pad. We're going to start building an existing structure. So we might have to look at some demolition and phasing next. But until then, we will see you later.